Hello, everybody. I am so hyped to bring you guys here a Pokin video here. Pokin Tournament is game is coming up for the Wii U. I highly encourage you to buy it because this game is freaking awesome. No, this is not my game. This is gameplay exclusive. I say that because, you know, it's not really out there anywhere else. Well, I mean, of course, a matchup is, but my friend Noel Skyward Wing recorded this from me since he does have the game early. So uh, shout out to that boy. I'll be leaving his links in the description. Shout out to the homie. But uh, we're going to discuss here today about Pokin, the longevity, the hopes, and where it will go. So, of course, if you are hyped for Pokin, give the video a thumbs up. Hype for Pokin. I actually can literally, literally cannot wait for this game. That it's so unbearably hard to commentate this because I just cannot wait for this game. Oh, my God. Like 10 or 9 days left, give or so, give or take. But... Yeah, subscribe if you're new as well, and definitely go check out Noel's channel for providing this. He really is the homie for this. Um, but Pokin is a game that I've wanted for a very long time now. I like Pokemon games. I like fighting games. It's been uh, a stress, you know. I remember that when Smash was coming out, I was like, oh, I don't know if people on my channel would like that. Because I couldn't pick between Pokemon or Smash. I love the game so much. And they're both completely different games. But one is an RPG, and the other one is a fighting game. So... Now they find a way to balance. My man, Pikachu going with the, the Dragon Fist, though. Goku, is that you? <laughs> oh, man. No, but I waited a long time for a fighting game like this. At least, like, a fighting Pokemon game. And that we got. That we got. Wild Type Wild was the closest thing. If you want if you want to do canon, it was Smash. But if you want to do fan-made Type Wild, it was the closest thing. And we got it. We got Pokemon. Which is, essentially, if you don't get it by now, it's Pokemon, Tekken, Pokemon. You know? You can clearly tell from how they move and stuff like that, you know, and the fighting mechanic. You can clearly tell that it's Pokemon, or it's, it's got some Tekken mechanics, of course, since they did, you know, come together with it. And, of course, I will be maining Pikachu. Um, Pikachu is said to be the best character in the game. That's not the reason why I'm maining Pikachu. If any game has Pikachu, I'm maining it. I main Pikachu in Melee. Pikachu is like, what, freaking B tier? Hot top of C tier in Melee? You know? It's just coincidence that Pikachu in Smash 4 is top 5. It's just coincidence. It's just coincidence. I would still main Pikachu if he was bad. I would still main Pikachu if he's bad. He's just unfortunately good. <laughs> so, no, I'm not maining him, you know, to be a tier whore. I know some people do that, but no. And why am I talking about tiers and stuff like that when, hey, next, is it just a game? I'm talking about going full out competitive in this game. Me and my friends are all talking about going full out competitive in this game. I'm letting you all know that right now. Um, yes, this game is actually backed up by eSports because it will be sponsored at CEO and EVO. I don't know about Apex, but it will be sponsored at CEO and EVO. And yes, I am going to CEO. Alright, so I will be participating in there. I'm going to see how I do. That's in like June. Game comes out in March. What is that? March, April, May, June. That's like four months to practice. So, I should do okay if I get good at the game. But I'm going heavy on this game. Me and all my friends are. Nicholas, and my boy Mikey, we're all going hard on this game, you know? Like, we're going to be streaming it every day, you know? Because for a long time, I've had this dream, you know? Where I wanted to go and go to tournaments. Which, I, you know, of course, I was going to go to CEO originally just because, you know, for Smash. Pokemon just happened to be a thing now that just came across the path, which I'm going to, you know, take control of. But... The game, you know, I've, I've been had, having this dream a long time, since I was a child, to be going to a gaming tournament, place well, you know, stuff like that. No, I'm not going to have some high hopes, or I'm like, oh, I'm going to do so well at the tournament. No, I'm not going to have any high hopes, because I don't know how I'm going to do Because freaking Justin Wong is a god at this game, dude. And freaking this other Tempo guy uh, that I follow, I forget his name, uh, but he is with Tempo. I forget his name, but... He's also very good at the game as well, and there's already people with so much experience. There's so much to learn from. The best ways you can learn from fighting games is to get your ass beat over and over and over. That's how you learn, man. That's how you learn. But I'm actually very excited about this, you know what I mean? You can see on the screen right now, this Lucario gameplay. You can go into Mega Form, all right? And what I didn't know, since I've been so behind on Pokken, Nick has more along been caught on Pokken more along than me. You can be in your Mega Form and fight. I thought that was just a burst animation. You can be in your Mega Form, all right, and fight in your Mega Form. Adaptability, Mega Lucario, bro, Lucario might just be the secondary. But my characters look a little so far that I'm going to be messing around with. Probably Pikachu, Pikachu, Libre, Lucario. Though everybody always tries to claim characters before the game comes out or day one of the game comes out and eventually change up their mains. I might be a fraud and pick up Suicune. I might be a fraud and pick up Suicune because Suicune is kind of insane. But 
that I'm not really go I'm not really gonna go out of that range. Pikachu, Pikachu, Libra, Lucario, Suicune. I'm not really gonna go out of the range. The farthest I'd go is maybe Gardevoir. Uh, I could do Weavile, Garchomp, Blaziken, Scepter, all these cool characters. Um, but the hipster in me screams, hey, no, nah, everyone's gonna be playing them. But then it also screams to me that everyone's also gonna be playing Pikachu. Because if you didn't know, Pikachu was quote unquote seen as the best character in the game when it comes to mobility combos tactics aerials that's just what we've heard you know and of course this is just what we're hearing before the game comes out but it has been out in japan and japan arcades for a while now so if a japanese player does say this i mean you kind of have to take their words since the game's been out there for a much longer time there you know but um yeah so i'm actually very excited for this game very excited to help build the competitive scene in any way that i can you know and that's what makes me excited that even though if i don't do well in tournaments you know i can still help this community of pokin you know it it it's definitely something that can flourish on its own uh with the right help with the right assistance and can we just sit down and talk about as well how reshiram and Cresselia support is just a little crazy just a little bit because it's insane it's support is insane if i go what they do which i probably should look it up right here to not look like a fraud right now so we're gonna look this up yes yeah, i'm professional restroom and Cresselia support pretty much they're really 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 insane uh it says right here that restroom unleashes an almighty straight line attack forward powerful enough to complete change the completely change the battle and status effect makes the attack decrease. And what Cresselia does is charge time is fast. Retro's charge time is slow, which his attack is blue flare. He heals neg negative stat stat. Why wow, just cannot <laughs> talk today? Heals negative statuses, recovers HP and synergy gauge. Can only be called once per round. So you can't abuse it, or else it'd be a little broken. But yeah, his charge time is pretty fast though. So I'm assuming that it could be charged right back up for you to use it again within that time limit where you have to wait. Um, but it's charge time is pretty fast, so it's gonna be kind of reliable, I'm not gonna lie. Which is essentially a really good support. There's also a Diglett Cubone, really good support. You can see my man Noel rocking out with it. And now we got Gardevoir gameplay here. I know my, not much people have spoken about Gardevoir. Not much people have said anything about Gardevoir. People say she's bad. I don't want to just go out and say she's bad. Hell, the game's not even out yet, but I know people, when I say people, I mean like Japanese players, because they've had the game for a long time, so you gotta take their credibility, you know? Um,. But just say that like she's bad. I don't think that she's bad. I think she has promise, you know Maybe this game's not gonna be like Smash 4 where every character is viable It might be like melee or you know only a few characters are viable and some are not who really knows And then it might just be like Smash 4 where all are viable and it might just be like its own thing where You know a few are more viable than the other the other are slightly viable This is the minimal viable and stuff like that. So you can if Gardevoir's not that bad. She can also go to Mega Form as well She really isn't that bad. You can see Sylvia and temporarily boosts up the defense um I didn't get to read all of that, but it temporarily boosts the defense. Pikachu Libre is decent too, I'm not gonna lie. Pikachu Libre is really getting the job done, as you can see. Um, I'm definitely gonna be dabbing around with Pikachu Libre as well. I feel like Pikachu and Pikachu Libre are definitely gonna be the homies. Uh, Gardevoir, Lucario, and Suicune, maybe. But, I mean, if I'm trying to actually do good, I should really solidify myself to maybe two or three characters rather than just, like, the whole freaking roster but i'm definitely gonna be messing around with the whole freaking roster i'll just be going serious with one character versus the other and sylvia as you can just see looking hella kawaii but team umbreon man team umbreon team umbreon team flareon right there so this is what baffles me i really should have done more research in this i've done research into pokin but i didn't know that they could go into the mega evolution see i thought that it was just like this as you see right here mega gardevoir doing this attack I thought that, first off, this attack is insane. Look at that, dude. Super kawaii girl, Sailor Moon, power, that's full. <laughs> but no, I thought that's how the Mega Evolutions worked, but it just did one fi final giant attack like that. But no, you can go into your Mega Evolution, fight within your Mega Evolution, and then use a final attack with your Mega Evolution while still in your Mega Evolution. So Mega Pokemon that are potentially able to Mega Evolve, they all got promise, all right? None of them are bad, they all got promise, okay? I just feel like it's untapped potential. I feel like that way more along with Lucario. I see Lucario's gameplay, no one's really talking about Lucario. Everyone's talking about the obvious good ones, Gengar, Weavile, uh, Garchomp, Pikachu. Everyone's talking about them. Well, the uh, obvious Mewtwo as well. Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo. But it's just like, what about the what about the characters that aren't really talked about much? I mean, Lucario and Machamp are the first two characters that we saw for Pokin, you know? And we didn't, there's not much 
talk about Lucario. There's more talk about Machip than there's Lucario. Maybe people don't want to give Lucario a chance because he is basic. There are levels with his speed format, basic format. You know, that's how they're going to have them classed, you know? Where I'm guessing Pikachu is the speed format, Lucario is the basic format, and Machamp is the strong format. And you can clearly see from Gengar, I think Gengar is really good. Gengar is really, like when I first saw Gengar's gameplay, I thought that he was the best character in the game. I thought that he was broken, you know? I really did, because Gengar's punch is just, look at that. But you can see a little bit of delay in it, but... Which I feel like may hindrance him to get punished afterwards, and I feel like zoning might struggle him with a little bit, even though his his fists can literally teleport anywhere. I don't know. I don't want to just be that guy and say that yet and talk about his competitive top because I don't know how far his punches go within these portals. You know, depending on where you can zone him with, how you can zone him with the spacing. I don't really know how far they go, so I don't want to just sit here and say that you can space him out and that's how you beat him, but. Hits with the point of attacks from below. Easy to aim for combo after this. Yeah, Diglett is really good. Diglett is a combo starter. That's what he is. So Diglett support, definitely going to be something that's going to be nice to have. But Pikachu Libre doesn't seem much different from actual Pikachu. Maybe it's the strength since he's Libre and he's more of a fighting Pikachu. Maybe it might just be that way. Some combos, I'm assuming, definitely have to be different or else he would kind of be a clone. But you can just see from that, Diglett is a combo starter. You can see that Diglett literally have Pikachu Lee break start with all those combos. Oh, Kaga Buncho no Jutsu! Hey, <laughs> little clones! Um, but I want to see the difference of really between Pikachu and Pikachu Libre. Uh, you can see that's definitely a different attack from the actual Pikachu. That as well with that combo. So I guess he really fights more like a wrestler than actual Pikachu fighting like a Pikachu, like an electric mouse, like a speedy electric mouse as you can see. Um, but that's actually going to be it though for this video. So if you enjoyed of course, give it a thumbs up. Hype for poking and all that stuff like that. And um, that's really going to be it. 18th. I cannot wait. Thanks for watching.